शुरू करते थे ओके आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर पेइंग अटेंशन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर पेइंग अटेंशन ओके हमने क्या डिसाइड किया कौन सा यूज करने वाले हैं सैलरी का राइट फाइन सो सैलरी के लिए हम लोग आगे जाते हैं पहले यहाँ पे एक नया डायरेक्टरी क्रिएट कर लेते हैं जिसका नाम होगा कोड टू इसके अंदर हमें दो डायरेक्टरीज बनाने हैं एक होगा एम का और दूसरा होगा सर्वर का आई होप यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन साइड एम एल आई एम गोन क्रिएट टू डिरेक्टरीज एक होगा नोटबुक्स का और दूसरा होगा टेस्टिंग का चलो यहाँ पे जाके बोलते हैं टेस्टिंग और टेस्ट वॉट एवर डजेंट मैटर अब पहले हमें नोटबुक को ओपन करना पड़ेगा सो लेट्स कम बैक हियर गो बैक टू माई डिरेक्टरी समवेयर हियर let's add this one here and uh, this is the notebooks come back and say jupiter notebook to apna notebook shuru ho jayega notebook shuru hone se pehle aur notebook mein kuch kaam karne se pehle hame salary ka file utha ke yahan pe dalna padega so sanbeam data set data 1 uh, iska naam kya tha re salary data if i'm not mistaken adding that file here chalo shuru karte hain pehle kya karna padega logically model right so come back here we'll create a new file you can put it anything i'm going to say like this is my page 1 i hope everyone is paying attention right now i'm going to say this is my simple linear regression or you can say fine it's okay simple linear regression is okay this is an example huh? you can use anything here if you can understand one example next time you just have to change that few things nothing more is needed after that this is my problem statement you know problem statement okay now what is the problem statement here what we are supposed to do we are supposed to predict the salary so maybe i can say predict the salary we already have done the eda so we know salary is dependent on experience using experience experience that's it okay so this is the problem statement now we'll continue further with our you know uh, pretty old same format that we have followed multiple times this is where we want to go for import or importing all the required packages required packages i'm hoping that everyone is paying attention okay don't write the code otherwise you will miss the bus don't write just check the things import we start with numpy as np then pandas as pd then matplotlib dot pi plot as plt and lastly it is import cborn as sns hopefully this is something we have done hundreds of time now next this is where we want to get the data right so we can say get the data and it is damn simple all we need to do here is df dot pd i'm sorry df equals to pd dot read csv we want to get the data from salary data dot csv this is again we already have inspected it we already have done eda on this multiple times so i'm going to skip it directly uh, i'll just say eda here and just for the uh, i mean just for time being i'll use df.corp others we already have tested earlier i don't want to go in details of it right now the important thing here is before we do anything we want to split our data into two parts which one first x and y and then test train and test so here we want to say uh, prepare the data again in this data we do not have to do any cleansing so we can directly jump to prepare data before that there has to be a section named data cleansing we don't need it on this one that's the reason it's okay so preparing data means first this i'm sorry decide a hey, what the heck decide the uh, independent dependent variable there is only one actually you know it's yes experience by the way oh hold on before that i think it's better for me to uh, you know check the column names we know that but it's better you can copy and paste it you know so this is yes experience and we know that this is what our independent variable is so x is going to be equals to df dot either you can say drop or you can select it choice is yours salary from access equals to 1 and we may we can say decide the dependent variable which is in my case a salary so this is going to be as salary okay so we have x and y ready now what is the logically next step yeah it's a split you know so i'm going to go back here and say split the data okay so splitting the data it's going to be as simple as that 
uh, I'm sorry, this is the one. We are going to go for sklearn. So we can say from sklearn dot model selection import train test split. We can get that x train x test y train and y test by using that train test split passing x and y with train size 0.8 with a random state uh, you can pass anything there i don't know maybe last time two three four whatever i think it was giving us a better accuracy so let's give it a try okay so we got the data we got it split in x train and x y uh, sorry train and test what's logically the next step the next one is the build a model so here we are we can say create i'm sorry create the model how do we create the model it's damn simple import sklearn dot linear model import linear regression this is where we want to create an empty module i'm sorry empty model which we can say model linear regression and train the model so we went uh, when you say train the model it's as simple as fit x train i'm sorry x train <laughs> it's raining outside now so it's rain is what i was saying here my bad so this is what we are saying uh, model training process all about we are done with the model training but are we uh, done with the whole exercise no. no we just have built the model we need to evaluate it as well how do we evaluate it it's like evaluate the model and you know how do we do it using MAE, MSC, RMSC, and R2 score. I'm going to do it in one single line. We are going to say from sklearn dot matrix. It's matrix, the sub package we want to use, and import mean absolute error, mean squared error, and lastly, it is R2 score. Okay, it is MAE, which is going to be equals to mean absolute error. But hold on, we are missing something exactly how can we miss that before this we want to say get the true values and you know what true values are y true is equals to y test and then predict the values from a uh, for x test you know how do we do it yes it's like y pred model dot predict x test by heart ho gaya na code sab log aise bol rahe jaise by heart ho gaya pura it's good that you are getting it I'm very happy. So this is like Y true and Y pred. So the difficulty is not that the Diwali after the Let's hope But anyways, it's like Y pred, and uh, this is R M S C, which is like N P dot S Q R T uh, square root of R M S M S C, and last R two. That's R two score which is again uh, y true and y pred okay we are done let's get that executed and hopefully we'll get all of the values here we just want to print them and we are done so here we are mae which is going to be equals to mae what the heck uh this is done 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 that's it this is msc this is uh, r i'm sorry r msc and this is r2 that's it this is msc see how lazy i am <laughs> and then we can say r2 oh 0.93 it's really great so we are kind of doing a great job it's not like we it's like data is really great <laughs> we are just writing the code you know silly code uh what is the last step do i need to go for visualization no you already have done oh no in the sense can we do it yes. uh, thank god <laughs> i was about to get heart attack no ka matlab mujhe laga ki ho nahi sakta ho sakta hai lekin we are not doing it because we already have done it before okay our focus is to save that file to a i'm sorry save that model to a file now how do we do it pickle. using pickle so maybe i can come back here and say save the model and this is again very simple import pickle okay next model file which is going to be equals to open give it any name let's say this is a salary prediction dot pk uh, uh, this is wb you want to write it with the binary code or binary encoding next model hey nahi model nahi kuch bhi pickle dot dump i was thinking like you will tell me but it's okay model and then model file that's it and finally do not forget this model underscore file dot close 
unless you close it the file will not get created it seems like we are done with it so if i go back to my current directory i can see the salary prediction dot pk make sure that the file is having at least some bytes you know last time i saw multiple ones of you were having zero bytes and that's what giving you the problem so now i'm done i'm going to copy this file salary prediction and put that inside the test directory i'm going to open that test directory inside pycharm and see if it really is possible for me to get the job done this is where we want to trust that's fine we don't need uh, okay we need the file here that's you know testing one before you do anything we want to check if the things are working fine so maybe i can say uh, this is salary prediction okay this is where we want to build i'm sorry we want to get the built model so the model is already built for us we just want to get that pickle import pickle what's the next model file we have to go for opening that file first by saying open the name of that file i'm sorry i think i need to copy it from this again and then this is read mode in the binary decoding then we want to get the model by saying pickle dot load from that model file and then we can go back and say this is salaries you know salaries means it's like an array we can say model dot a uh, model dot predict predict what predict uh, maybe uh, use of experience 14.5 okay let me print the salaries and see if i can get anything right now answer is not important right now getting an answer is important so yeah <laughs> i got the answer that means it's doing fantastic job i don't know whether you recall this or not yesterday i passed 14.5 i was getting 168000 something uh today i am getting 170000 what's the reason ah uh, the random state was different and i hope random state yesterday was giving us almost like 89 or 88 somewhere around 88 or 90 uh, kind of you know uh, maybe you can say r2 score today is 93 so today's answer is even better or you can say more accurate than yesterday's you know so we are on the right path that's what we can confirm here okay so this code i definitely will need in the next part when we go for using it inside our flask application so if i look at the big picture are we done with model building yes, yes. are we done with model saving yes. yes what's the next logical step create a flask application let's go for it this is the server part i want to start with again yes ma'am yes yes sorry my bad we are, we should close that file hold on uh, thanks for reminding me once you are done with it it's always important for you to close the file otherwise the file will get unnecessary load in the memory you know and more the files you load in the memory slower will be your machine and probably after some time your application will simply crash too many files open you know that's an error you might get anyways so <clears throat> right now i think we are done with that so let del let's delete this file and start with our flask application can someone tell me where are we right now right now in a sense if i'm going to start working on the flask here which side are we going to work on server or client server, server. so client part client part we are supposed to build inside the server itself you know the templates directory and the html file will be considered as a client part okay here we are the first thing before i start writing the code is to create a directory the directory name must be templates because here we are going to put our index.html file okay here we are uh, we want to first start with that uh, page maybe i can call it as my server and inside this server we are going to write the flask code you know how simple is that all we have to do here is from flask import i'm sorry import flask we'll start with the simple one first and then we'll keep on building some you know better ones right here we can start with creating an application by saying app which is going to be equals to flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore okay next we want to start with app dot run where the port number for us is like 8080 <clears throat> we want to go for debug mode is going to be equals to true and if you want this application to be available in the whole network you can pass you can pass host is going to be equals to 0.0.0.0 are we done yes this is the basic server but this server is pretty useless why is it useless because it doesn't know how to process the incoming request and for processing it we need to keep on adding different routes this is my first route i'm going to go back here and say def root which is going to be uh, you know returning something like welcome to i'm sorry welcome to the application whatever 
But you know what? This is not what I'm looking for. Because if I want user to give me the number of experience, number of years of experience as an input, we should go for a better HTML, right? If you want to go for better HTML, writing this code doesn't make any sense here. So what should I do? Yes, go for templates directory and create a new HTML file. Don't go for Python, go for HTML. Name doesn't matter. You can say index or HTML or something here. Maybe uh, the title will be kind of, you know, prediction, for example. Here we are going to go for something like, you know, salary prediction, better. And uh, if you want to go for uh, here, I can say the form, because form is where we want to get the user's input. I think we talked about that last time. The action, for me, the action is going to be like predict, you know. Inside it, we want to create multiple divs and get the input from user for the number of input values you are looking for or your model is looking for. In my case, the model is looking for only one input file or input value, which is experience, you know. So maybe I can say experience is what I'm looking for in terms of something like input where the type is going to be equals to number. And don't forget to give it a name. Name is going to be experience. You can put any damn thing there. It doesn't matter, in fact, no. So this is experience. That is the name of it. Just make sure that the name which you are specifying here is the name you are using on the last side. That is important. Okay, this is one div, and other than that, I need one input, you know. So this input is of type submit. That's going to be important because you click on that submit and it will go to the uh, predict URL. Again, you don't have to, but you know, if you really want to, you can say the method is going to be equals to get. By default, the method is always going to be set to the get pip. Are we all on the same page? Yes, sir. Wonderful. Now what? If I go back here and want to return this index.html, what should I do? Render a template. So go to that flask and say, along with the flask, I want to also get the render template. OK, so here we are and say render template. What is the name? Index.html. We are missing the main point here. What are we missing? Yes, we are missing the decorator. What is the decorator that we should add? App dot route. For what? Slash with the method get. So this is the methods array and there is only one method that is get. We are done at least to a certain extent. Check this. Let me run this code and see if it is really working. So I'm here in the run server. Wonderful, it's working. If I go back here, I can see the prediction experience is like 14.5 and if I say submit, Nothing is going to work. Oh, it's saying two nearest values. Oh, it is number that I submitted, you know. Fine, it's okay. So 14 and then says submit. I'm getting this value. Oh, it's saying not found. Slash. Am I missing something? Yes, because look at that. We are saying slash predict. Do we have any route for it? No. So go ahead and do it. It's very simple. All we have to say here is def. You can use any name there. doesn't matter. You can say predict. And then you can get that route here. The route is important. App dot route. What should I say here? Yes. Slash predict. You see? Next, the methods. For us, there is only one. That is get. Important thing here is, I want to get the value of experience. Can someone tell me how do I do it? How do I do it? The value sent by client can be accessed on the server by using request. So, coming back here. Along with the render template, I want to say, hey, give me the request. I got the request here. Now, what do I do with that request? You come back here and you want the experience, you know. So, experience, which is going to be equals to request.args.get. Now, can someone tell me what should I write here? What should I write here? Why experience? Because in my HTML, this input has got the name experience. I would recommend do not type <laughs> on your own. You know, you will make some mistakes. Better you come here, copy this, and then paste it right there. Though so this one is where we are going to get the error. Uh, we'll get the input here. Now, if you really want, you know, you can change that number to something like a text so that I could uh, enter the dot value as well. And probably if I come back here, if I want that to be uh, considered as a float, because salary is in float, so maybe I can convert that to the float value, you know. So this one is going to be really float for me. So this is where I'm getting the user's input. So this is where 
you know users input i'm sorry users input i want to go for uh, predicting the uh, predicting the salary for huh so how do i uh, predict the salary with the help of model but do we have the code ready to get that model and predict the salary yeah, we already had you see we already have written this all i'm going to do here is copy and paste sorry don't say copy paste say reuse <laughs> so i'm reusing the code you know so things that, oh am i missing something am i missing something look at line number 18 what are we doing we are loading that pk file do we have that in the current directory no if we don't have it the application will crash so coming back here copying this and inside my server pasting it here now this is okay i don't want to pass that hard coded 14.5 instead we already have got that experience variable get it and instead of saying print we can just say return you know your salary you know maybe your expected salary or whatever it is you want to say is going to be equals to say i'm sorry it's going to be equals to this is salaries of zero are we done hopefully i don't know let's check this one here so going back here 14.5 it was not possible last time but now i can say 14.5 is possible when i say submit boom i got your salary is 170,000, exact same number that we got last time of course, we have to get the same number because it's the same model. <laughs> so, we have built one end-to-end -end application in no time. In no time. It's just a matter of understanding. Okay? Fine. Just give me a second. One more time. 